royally obsessed host Roberta Fiorito and Rachel Bowie look back in history on their latest podcast and recall the cute moment back in 2017 where Prince George wrote his Christmas list. Prince William visited Finland on an official trip but had promised his son he would give the letter to Santa when he saw him, but the royal commentators noted how Prince William was bashful as he handed over the letter that only asked for one present, a police car. Speaking on the podcast, the pair discussed what Christmas would be like for the royal family this year and looked back at previous celebrations. The hosts recalled a moment back in 2017 where Prince William was visiting a Christmas market in Helsinki and came across Santa. He told the festive mascot, I've seen you and I had to give you this letter. The letter, captured on camera, saw Prince George say he had been nice this year and wrote in big block capitals that he wanted a police car. A coy Prince William added, he hasnt written down many requests, so I think one request is probably okay. H has been a nice boy, a nice, Ms. Fiorito remarked it was a cute moment and said while they were extremely privileged kids they were still allowed the magic of childhood. Later on, the royal experts looked at the gifts that have been reportedly shared by members of the royal family who are noted for sharing gag presents with each other. According to Finding Freedom, Meghan was keen to join in on the tradition and bought Prince William a serial killer spoon which was happily received. The book also claimed Prince Harry gave the Queen a shower cap with the phrase Ain't Life A B asterisk 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 written on it. It added, another time he gifted his grandmother a big mouth Billy Bass singing toy that was said to sit proudly in Balmoral, her Scottish retreat, and provide the Queen with great laughs. Carol Middleton recently revealed on Instagram that she buys Swedish tomp dolls, which are gnome-like creatures, and hides them around the house. She wrote it gets great laughs out of her grandchildren who enjoy tracking them down. Every year, the royal family joins the Queen at her Norfolk estate of Sandringham and will be returning once more after the pandemic scuppered their plans last year. Darren McGrady, who used to work as a chef in the royal kitchens, revealed what the royals like to eat on Christmas Day. He said it was likely to see a big lunch after church which would include a salad with shrimp or lobster and a roasted turkey. Traditional side dishes, like parsnips, carrots, and others, would also be included. Mr. McGrady said the royals often keep it simple and only go for traditional turkeys on Christmas. However, Mike Tyndall revealed on his rugby podcast that the royal family do most of their celebrations on Christmas Eve with a cold buffet on Christmas. He explained it is to give staff the day.